I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro, and throughout 2017, I've had the privilege of being the president of the North American Menopause Society. Today, I'm joined with Dr. Nick Panay. Welcome. Thank you, Marla. Tell everybody where you're from and what you do. So, I am Nick Panay. I'm from London. I am a, a secretary elect of the International Menopause Society, um, and I'm here representing the International Menopause Society at the North American Menopause Society Congress. So, I'm a woman representing all our women out there who are watching you. Um, and noting that I have dryness, some irritation, may have painful intercourse, yet, like most women, are not driven in to have the discussion with someone like you. So a word to women about that. I think it's important that women come forward about these problems because they're a very common issue and they're underreported and undertreated. Um, and it's for too long been a taboo subject. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that with appropriate uh, education and information about the extent of the problem and also the simplicity and safety of the treatments, that women will be given the confidence to come forward and have this uh, discussion with their healthcare physician. That it's not just aging, it's the loss of estrogen and, and putting estrogen back can make all the difference. Sure. I mean, the pathology arises as a result of loss of estrogen to the tissues of the vagina and the vulva, and that can lead to loss of elasticity, it can lead to dryness, it can lead to pain on intercourse, um, occasionally even bleeding on intercourse. And all these problems are avoidable with appropriate interventions. So now I'm standing in a pharmacy, um, and there are lots of options sitting in front of me, moisturizers, lubricants, um, not really sure I want to ask the pharmacist or the pharmacist aide to help me. What is a moisturizer? What is a lubricant? How do I choose it? What am I looking for? I'm confused. So a moisturizer is a preparation which is used on a daily basis to rehydrate the vagi vaginal tissues uh, and provide, if you like, a sort of base coat. Um, mm -hmm. The lubricant is used uh, typically before intercourse or during intercourse to make intercourse more comfortable uh, and also to avoid bleeding and, uh, and pain during intercourse. So are all moisturizers the same? Is there something that I should be looking for that may be better for me than another product? I think it's important to look for products that uh, appear to be as natural a re replacement of vaginal uh, um, lubrication. So we've worked quite hard to try and uh, figure out what are the properties of mm -hmm. the best types of lubricants and moisturizers that naturally replace the vaginal secretions. And it's important that we have uh, a pH, so an acidity, which matches that of the vagina. It's naturally a, an acidic environment, uh, typically between 3.8 and 4.5 pH. So that's like the pH in a pool. We, you know, women know about pHs in their pool, but you have a yeah. pH in your vagina as well. Indeed, um, and it's very important that we maintain a low pH in the vagina in order to protect against infections and also prevent uh, other uh, problems with irritation. So if a woman has tried a moisturizer and a lubricant um, and it's not enough, next steps? Well, estrogen uh, is very effective treatment and because it's delivered locally rather than systemically, it's a very safe treatment as well. So you're talking about estrogen that only goes into the vagina? Correct. Uh, with the new ultra-low dose uh, estrogenic preparations, there is uh, no significant systemic absorption into the circulation. The effect is, is purely local. And now a new product has entered the American market, Prasterone? So for women who perhaps don't feel as comfortable with using estrogen, Prasterone is certainly an option uh, to be used, uh, again, locally without any significant absorption or increase in hormone levels. It's a product which is derived from uh, the, uh, the adrenal gland. Uh, it mimics a, product called a, a hormone called DHEA, which is a precursor to the formation of estrogen and testosterone locally. Bottom line to me as a woman, midlife, and my women friends that are sitting out there? Uh, the bottom line is don't ignore the problem and don't let your physician fob you off either. Make sure that you do um, have an appropriate uh, treatment prescribed after a, a discussion that's enabled you 
to, to make an informed choice. All healthcare practitioners, nurse care practitioners, everybody who treats women, have the conversation with one of us. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you.